So Joe, we're up early this morning and we've travelled all the way up to Doncaster Cables, but what's the reason we're here for? Well, if you're like me, when you hear Doncaster Cables, you think of manufacturers of really good quality uh, twin and CPC cable. In Absolutely. fact, last year they manufactured around 24 million metres of twin and CPC cable just in 2.5 wow. without taking into account the other sizes. But we're not here today to talk about a commodity product. We're here to talk about something that's going to make electricians' lives easier. What is that, Gaz? So if you take the 2.5 mil cable as the staple diet of the electrical industry, yeah. we're looking at now products that are emerging. So have Doncaster Cable come up with a new emerging product? Yes, they have. Okay. They're a British manufacturer mm -hmm. and they've come up with a cable now that's going to make it a lot easier for the electrician to connect to an EV charging point. Right, because it's a very, very important point now that in order to qualify for the government OLEV grant for your charging point at your place of work yeah. or your home, you have to have internet connectivity to that charging point. Point. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do that. We could do it with Wi-Fi, but we know that Wi-Fi is not always the most reliable method of getting your internet connection. And so we're more interested in a hardwired connection to that charging point. How are Doncaster Cables helping us to achieve that? So what they've got now is they've come up with a cable that incorporates both a Cat5 cable yep. and a mains cable in one. So okay. it's one cable with both in them. Right, so that's going to be a pretty freaky looking cable, I would imagine. It's almost like a, a power cable yep. and a data cable bolted next to each other with maybe just a connecting strip between them. Absolutely not. It looks like a steel wire armoured cable from the outside and Fantastic. they actually do an armoured version of it as well. Wow, well that is amazing. I think we're going to go and find Aaron and we're going to have a look around the factory because he's going to show us some of the exciting manufacturing processes and the secrets behind manufacturing cable so I think we're going to the factory and have a look around. Let's go and see how it's made. Let's go. How are you doing? Nice to meet you Aaron. Nice so this is you. Aaron Walstow. Aaron is the works manager. The works manager here at Doncaster Cable. So what are you going to be showing us today? We're going to show you the full manufacturing process of EV Ultra cables from start to finish. And are we going to get to see that in the factory behind us? Yeah, we'll go and take you inside. It's a live factory, so some areas are a bit noisy, but we'll take you through and give you a look. That's Fantastic. Right. Let's go. So, Aaron, we're really at the start of the manufacturing process here. What's going on with this drawing machine around the corner? So this is our wire drawing facility. Fantastic. And what's it actually doing as a process? So we're taking eight millimeter copper rod, yeah. and then we're drawing that down into the various diameter wires that we need for the rest of the cable manufacturing process. Very. And how much does one of those uh, sort of pallets of pre-drawn copper wire? How much does that weigh? So the eight millimeter rod is about four to five tons. Wow! So that's a huge, huge drum of cable just to start with, isn't it? Fantastic. And that's eight millimeter squared or millimeter diameter. Eight millimeter diameter. So that's a lot bigger than you think it is. That's drawn yeah. down into really fine strands. Yeah, it's drawn down to smaller strands. Okay. So we're going to see our process. Have a look. So Aaron, we know the EV Ultra cable comes in a 4mm squared and a 6mm squared conductor. So what's happening in the process beyond us here? So the process behind us is the stranding process. So we're taking the individual wires we've drawn at the wire drawing stage and we're stranding those together to make a conductor which we can then enjoy. Fantastic. Can we go and see that process a little bit closer? Yeah, we can go and see that. And we see at the next part of the process, we're introducing band one, our cap five cable, and our mains band two voltage cable. So what's happening in this part of the process? So we've now finished the manufacture of the coils, and we've insulated the copper, and we're introducing the insulated coils and the data cable, the cap five cable. The cables come in through the high voltage spark test unit, where they're continuously tested at high voltage to ensure electrical integrity. Okay. And then the coils are then twisted together to form a laid up bundle, which will be then passed through the next extrusion process. Is that something where we can see happening? Yeah, we're just about to start the run now. Okay. Right, let's fire it up.
Okay, like then, Aaron. So we've got a very different looking cable coming out of this side of the machine than we have going on that side of the machine. So what's happening here? So this is another stage of extrusion. Yep. So we've got the laid up cores coming into the extrusion head. Yep. And then down the back of the screw, we have molten PVC going through the flow tube, through the point and die system. And then we're covering the cores with the bedding material okay. for that protection. Fantastic. So when we cut in, say, an armoured cable and we open it up, we find that white layer inside. That's the layer that's being applied there. That's the layer that's being applied. Yeah. Brilliant. we've looked at the next part of the process and so what is happening behind us here so this is where we're applying the galvanized steel wire armor and it looks to me like we've got the world's most intense fairground ride going on behind us now what's that machine at the end doing so the galvanized steel wire is fed onto the cable straight and then the rotation of the drum behind us is then putting the twist in the galvanized that's steel incredible wire. and actually what you can't see is at that end we've got another drum rotating I'm guessing exactly the same speed as that one. Yeah, they have to be in perfect sync, perfect harmony, and the drums stop below end over end. Wow. And as the drums pay off, the other drum has to take it up at the same speed. I'd love to see the maths behind that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Flows a bit of a myth because actually it's the cable spin and yeah, not the armor. No. As it's an armored um, EV Ultra cable, how are we going to connect that into an electrical enclosure? So we can connect that with standard BW CW glands. Oh, right, okay, so yeah, no change there for the electrician. And the version without the armor, how is that going to be connected? The tough sheath version can just be used by a stuffing one. Right. Keep the practice exactly the same as the electrics and tubes. Yep, nice and simple. So Aaron, we've found higher ground here because we're up here to see the final kind of processing stage here. What's happening at this point on the uh, process? So this is the final sheathing stage. So on this particular variant of the EV Ultra cable, the armoured core is coming through yep. and we're applying the final sheathing. So that's a specially designed cable that we make here at Doncaster Cable. Yep. It's UV stable, uh, thermally stable, high temperature. This will then go up to the take-up drum, final testing, and then into the yard for storage. So am I right in thinking then that this final layer that's going on top of the cable, the black layer, which is what you see, that's not necessarily a standardised uh, material that goes on just any cable. This is your specific uh, material. It's our specific grade. So on site we have a PVC compound plant and we'll fine tune each grade of PVC compound wow. based on what that cable needs to do. Wow. So this is specially designed just for the EV Ultra cable. So when you see a piece of armoured cable, you normally think one's very much like another, but in actual fact, not all cables are born equal. No, no. That's really interesting. So we're nearly there, we're at the final process in order that the cable is ready to be released out into industry. And I'm seeing some really big words up here, high voltage. What's actually happening behind us, Darren? So the high voltage testing, the EV Ultra, like all our other cables, the high voltage testing before they're released. Each core is then tested at high voltage against all the other cores to make sure they're electrically sound. And what kind of voltages are we testing these cables at? So it depends on the cable type. So the EV Ultra and armored cables are three and a half thousand volts. Oh, wow. Wow, so it's thoroughly tested, yeah, fantastic. And if it fails the test, what happens to it? So if it fails the test, the machine trips out, and then we do a manual burnout, and that's taken away, the faulty section removed, both drums are then sent back and tested. So you can be assured that the cable that you get on your drum when it arrives at your place of installation is absolutely fantastic quality and isn't going to let you down. Yeah, every bit of cable that leaves the factory 100% tested. It leaves a factory in the UK. It leaves a factory in the UK. tell you what guys we've seen some amazing processes going on inside there but what was the standout thing for you personally well if you look at Doncaster cables a manufacturer of cables for the last 35 years 
and we know it's 2.5 twin and earth, as we said in our introduction, yeah. is, is their cable. Yeah. However, they've looked at the electrical industry being evolving and they've decided to now make a cable that's going to perhaps change the industry slightly, definitely the thinking in the industry mm. by combining Cat5 cable yeah. with a mains voltage cable, Joe. Yeah. It's brilliant. It is, isn't it? And for me, it's the fact that they've produced a product that is going to make electricians' lives easier. And for me, that's priceless. Yeah.